Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you how to make chana gashi, a konkani style black chickpea curry that is pretty simple and easy to make and is still hearty and delicious. So let's get started, shall we? For making chana gashi, you need 1 cup of black chickpeas or kala chana, 1 and a half cup of grated coconut, 3 to 4 whole dried red chilies or bedki chilies, 1 marble size piece of tamarind or chinch, 1 and a quarter to 1 and a half teaspoon of salt, 1 fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi, 1 and a half tablespoon of coconut oil, 1 teaspoon of black mustard seeds or rye, 1 fourth teaspoon of fenugreek seeds or methi, 10 curry leaves or curry pata, and water for pressure cooking as well as making the curry. Start with washing and rinsing the chickpeas well and then soak it overnight or for 8 to 10 hours. When the chickpeas have been well soaked, wash and rinse them again and pressure cook with 3 cups of fresh water for 4 to 5 whistles till they are properly boiled. Then to make the coconut masala, in a mixer add in the grated coconut, whole dried red chilies or bedki chilies. I usually use a mix of both for a balance of spice and color. Then add in the tamarind pieces or you can also use tamarind pulp or paste. I also always add a few spoons of boiled chickpeas in this masala because it helps this masala mix with the boiled chickpeas to form a more homogenized curry. Then finally add about 3 4 cup of water and blend everything together till you get a smooth paste. Then in a pot, add the boiled chickpeas and the retained water in which the chickpeas were pressure cooked, about a teaspoon of salt and turmeric powder and give everything a quick mix and bring it to a light boil. Then to this, add the coconut masala, a little water to thin out the curry and mix everything well. Here you can also add a little more salt if required. Give it a quick mix and bring the curry to a proper boil. In the meantime, heat up a little coconut oil in the tarka pan and add in the mustard seeds. When the mustard seeds start crackling, add in the fenugreek seeds and curry leaves and give everything a quick mix and roast it lightly. Then add this tadka to the curry and mix well. And there you have it. Delicious Kunkani style chana kashi. Serve it hot with steamed rice and maybe a papad or a pickle on the side and enjoy. For the written and printable version of this recipe, check the link in the description box below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button at the bottom of this video. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you haven't already. Until I see you again, happy cooking!